Hi, I'm Agno from Food Cup and Below, and as promised, I'm doing a video on how to maintain beautiful Magno and obviously my subscribers, my free subscribers. Well done, thank you guys. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of a product review, not so much. It's only a 5 inch scissors, but I wanted to show you how well it does against thick Portuguese beards. But obviously, if you're from another ethnicity, you'll probably be the same and be quite tough to cut. What I'm going to do for you now is show you the kind of simple techniques. I would also have a can of hairspray. That's a top tip. Hairspray saves the day sometimes and kind of keeps everything together. So I will get my hairspray, which is somewhere else, but I will use it and it's very cheap. You can get one from Poundland and you get one of those massive bottles that will last like three years. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little bit of a product review, not so much. It's only a five inch scissors. But I wanted to show you how well it does against thick Portuguese beards. But obviously, if you're from another ethnicity, you'll probably be the same and be quite tough to cut. So I just want to show you how to do it. And also how to use the... Because people are scared of using the machines to do your trim. Because if you get too close, half your beard's gone. But you just need to be confident in your strokes and believe that it can be rectified if you've done a small mistake. I've done it millions of times where half of my face has been chunked in and it looks like uh, looks like I've been savagely cut by a bear. I managed to get it out. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's going to be quick. It's not going to take a long time. I'm going to speed up this video so you can see how to do the strokes and the angles in which you need to do it. So as promised, I'm doing the Savona. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it that correct, but Savona scissors and it was a five inch one. I managed to get it for £20.50 on Amazon. So it was quite a bargain for what it is. With a leather, nice little leather presentation kind of pack, pop pouch. And it also came with a nice comb. Uh, it's really important to have a good comb when you're doing your beards because you don't want it uneven. So you need to make sure that you have the right tools of the trade. So I will try this, I'll give it an honest review. I have tried it a little bit before, but this is the proper, this is like a, this is like the first time I've used it to do a whole beard trim, not just kind of the stragglers that you do. As I've said before, I will use an electric um, kind of beard trimmer. Um, it's the Remlington and the model is MB. 320C and I've bought two of these so far and they're amazing. It is the best one that I've used. It's got this little attachment at the front which kind of goes into the edges and it just provides that extra position. So I recommend this product already because I've used it for many many years. As a starter you will have to comb your beard. <laughs> Sorry, ignore the kind of I will cut that off, I'll just try to keep that minimal. Um, put some nice little background music. Um, so, the first thing you need to do is kind of get those stragglers out. So there are quite a few here, because it is quite unmanageable, untamable. Go to a certain direction, be confident with your strokes, because if you're not confident, you slip and then it goes in. So if you're shaking, make sure you try and avoid shaking, because shaking is what causes the damage. Go to different directions, look around. Don't always just focus on one. You have to go left to right as much as you can just so you make sure you've got the kind of right angle because then afterwards you're gonna look a bit weird if you've only kind of trimmed one side in one angle. I'm doing it in a way that it is to grow. So I do want it a little bit bigger, so I'm not going to trim too much with the trimmer. So I'm just using the kind of zero attachment, so then afterwards it will grow. Um, you can be safe and kind of keep a similar size, and then you just go through it. Um, but I don't really like doing that because I'm growing my beard. So I've, as I've said before, always confidence. The confidence is kind of what leads it to the kind of correct directions. Because if you go and you do like kind of in and out, then it's just gonna cut it in a weird angle. So you need to make sure that you are precise and be confident.
Okay, as I've said before, always go to your barbers on those special occasions because they're experts in what they do. So this is only for like kind of everyday looks when you don't really have to, you just need to go into work and you just need to maintain a look so you don't get the sack. This is what we're doing at the moment. Um, it's not going to be as perfect as I've said. There are going to be a few strands so I'm going to make sure that I use the scissors to pick those ones out. So obviously I'm going to not do it as perfect as I usually do just so I can test out these scissors, make sure that they are working and I can give them my seal of approval. Or around the mouth, just these parts, you have to be quite careful. Um, but it's best to kind of shape it so then after there's no food actually gets in them because it's quite difficult to eat when you do have a beard. But if you kind of cut in the correct way, you're never going to get food around your mouth, only if you're kind of a carnivore and you're attacking animals on the street and you're ripping out their carcasses right in the street like a lion. That's the only way you're going to get in your beard. And I've seen a few of you, you need to control the way you eat because it's disgusting. will take you through this it's already looking a lot better but um, I'll give you a few tips if you're scared of doing it around your mouth because I can see a few of you don't actually do that um, because the fear of kind of cutting too deep or anything like that but you can shape it up in a way that it looks equal as long as it looks equal no one's going to criticize your beard As I've said, this attachment is a good scent, um, so use it for around this specific area around the mouth. It is quite a hot summer's day, so I am looking like it's a workout, but it's not a workout, it's quite simple. <laughs> Important to use all the techniques, so what I do is that, depending on the angle that I'm cutting, I'll do the, like that, so then after you can cut the correct angles. So that's a good tip as well. I've had enough of the beard trimmers so I've used them to the maximum I could. So um, Savona scissors, the 5 inch version. They do look quite good, they're quite heavy and they are specific for beard and moustache. Hopefully they do the trick. They're, cut, they're, ver they're cutting very well. It's only one kind of scissor stroke that you need and it cuts off quite a few hairs so this could be more damaging. This could be more damaging in theory than the actual beard trimmer so you have to be careful with this as well. So make sure before you carry out the action that that's what you want to cut because these, these have no conscience. Overall, very good pair of scissors uh, recommended by me. I think I would buy the kind of bigger ones if I could again made that decision again I would make maybe the five and a half inch would do cut a little bit more at a time um, but this is good for precision so if you actually want to get an angle then it's really good for that it takes a little bit longer when you use the smaller scissors but you get a better a better finish if you're certain handed then you have to be extra careful the strokes won't be as as good as if you use your the hand that you write with as I said really good pair of scissors and they come in a nice little presentation pouch which you can kind of just pop them in and then you can travel around with them um, I mean not on a daily basis but you can travel around uh, if it's in a suitcase not your hand luggage but in a suitcase I think it's okay to take around so um, they come with these rubber rings around them um, and then you just place them in which it gives it extra comfort and it doesn't slip so even if you come out of the shower and you want to do a quick one two three um, it allows you to do that and kind of have 100% grip of the actual scissors. Um, the shape of them is amazing. Um, it, I think they've taken a lot of time to kind of think about the angles in which you're going to use it and how it's, it's, it's very safe. If you have concentration and you're willing to take your time and you're not in a rush, these are perfect for you. As I said before, it's not going to be perfect. And once you come out of the shower, you're going to have a few more stragglers around. So make sure that you have your scissors ready for that but just just be careful with that um, but usually with a nice little comb and some spray you're perfect you've done well oh almost forgot to show you my top tip when you do have your comb you have your comb right here and you get your kind of hairspray it doesn't matter i've got this poundland hair straight hairspray which does it's a men's hairspray specifically for men obviously um, so it does it does the job so you spray it on the actual brush 
Hopefully I don't spray it all over my mech. And then after you just comb it in, comb it through lightly, not too not too strong, very light. And then afterwards it comes through, gives it a nice little finish, and you can maintain it. And then afterwards the kind of the misplaced hair gets put in the correct direction, but depending on how you're combing it through. So don't be too aggressive when you're combing. It's just to kind of give it a little extra support the areas that you need it. Because once you spray directly onto the beard, hairspray is not really good for your skin, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. So don't go straight through and comb in. Um, try to do light strokes, and then it keeps it in a little bit better. Thank you very much for watching. This is Food Cut and Blow. Make sure you subscribe, click the subscribe button. Um, there's going to be more videos based on the male grooming and also kind of more vlogs and other kind of food recommendations or where to go for food. Um, also, my girlfriend's page will be at the bottom, her blog and her YouTube as well, Sayana Wesley. Very good if you like your fashion, need ideas for your girlfriend's presents. Um, and she does amazing Primark calls. And also, keep a lookout for my Primark call. I went to their press day, amazing. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, the links are here. And also, read my blog, new blog posts every week. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.